When next you are going to be in the city of Ibadan? One of the places you must endeavor to visit is the historical town of Taj Mahal in Okeolokon. That is the residence and the final resting place of Alaji Adegoki Adelabu, the Lion of the West. Adelabu needs no introduction. It was the afternoon star that scared the elderly. His Yoruba was flawless. His English was impeccable. Adelabu was not the one who mixed Yoruba with English in the same sentence. Though small in stature, he was intellectually a giant. With his brilliance, it dazzled and dwarfed his peers. According to Bolaige, Adelabu was a short man with a boundless energy. If there was anyone who tormented and fought the action group party in the pre-independence Nigeria, it would be that politician from the city of Ibadan, Adegoke Adelabu. Adelabu was torn in the flesh of Aulawa and his court in the action group. E. Adelabu was the original leader of the regional western part of the assembly in the capital of Ibadan. From 1955 to 1956, Adegoke Adelabu was the federal minister who superintended the Ministry of Natural Resources and Social Services. To know more about this legendary personality, read Onige Gewura, but Amosi Adegoke Adelabu died at his prime. He died when his son was at his zenith. It was the death like no other. It was not the death of an individual. It was not the loss of a family. Adegoke Adelabu's death was a national tragedy. The old Ibadan stood still. It is actually three years earlier in 1955 when Adelabu was appointed the Minister of Natural Resources and Social Services. The appointment was indeed a giant leap for Adelabu, who started his life as a weaver sheet. His Lebanese friend, the Yunnan family, saw this appointment as a golden opportunity to market the Benkelemen's brand. It was decided that the textile material would be bearing Adelabu's image and the name be produced and sold. It was expected that the clothes would serve as a subtle campaign strategy for Adelabu who was aiming to become the premier of the western region. When the shipment arrived, neither Adelabu or the Yunnan family expected what happened. They expected the sale to be slow and gradual. To their pleasant surprise, the Penkelemen's fabric became an overnight bestseller. It became the uniform social clothes, not only in Ibadan, but throughout the western region itself. According to Iyagba, textile merchants were using the clothes to sell other brands. You must buy another brand before Ashoke Kekelemes could be sold to you. This time around, Ijumata traders and Onicha merchants joined the bandwagon. The Lion of the West was the toast of the moment. He was not only a successful politician, he has also demonstrated that he was a business savvy. With the 1956 election approaching, with the rise of his political profile, Adelabu was sure of his victory at the polls. He was a master strategist and a popular leader. He gave people what they wanted. In areas of Ibado where the indigenous were the majority, Adelabu ensured that the natives were the candidates of his party. In non-native areas, the political genius filled them with non-native. It was a strategy that never failed him. His business partner were also confident. It was also decided that in addition to the Kwekelemen store brand in the market, a special clothes should be ordered for his inauguration as the premier. The clothes was indeed special. It showed Adegoke Adelabu as the premier, holding the keys to the western house of the assembly. It was going to be a hot kick. To finance this project, the Albert Yonan obtained a loan from the African Continental Bank, the ACB, which is one of the most big indigenous banks then in Nigeria. As fate would have it, Awolowo then became the premier of the region. Adelabu became the leader of the opposition. Of course, you know that it is the premier and not the leader of the opposition that will hold the key to the house of the assembly. You already know what happened to the clothes that they already ordered. The bank was on his neck. He had been given a final deadline by the bank. Adelabu decided to assist his friend by following him to the, to the head office of the bank in Lagos to plead for a further credit. On their way, a Peugeot collided head-on with a light yellow Austin, which was on its way to Lagos. The force of the collision was so much that the Austin somehow sorted and came to rest upside down, facing way back the way it came. The Peugeot cracked under the impact and burst into flames. Ah! Travelers who witnessed the accident rushed to the aid of the victims. They successfully extinguished the fire. Of the four passengers in the Peugeot car, only the driver Albert Jonan was alive. Though he was injured, he was still breathing. The driver of the yellow Austin was unarmed. It was as if he was not the one who even drove the car. The two Britons in the car who were representatives of the Royal Exchange Assurance Company sustained slight injuries. All of them, the dead and the injured, were quickly rushed to Shagam Hospital. It was at the hospital that it was discovered that Ben Kelemes, the Lion of the West, was one of the dead. It was late in the evening that the news reached Ibadan. It started as a rumor. No one believed it. It could not have been believed that Adelabu Ben Kelemes had died. At the time of his death, he was only three critical posts. 
who was the leader of the opposition party, and his footprints are undeniable in the political landscape. In recognition of his achievements as a nationalist, Orito and mass mobilizer, the government of Oyo State in 2016 made his final resting place in Stajma and in Okyo Lokun as a tourist center for people.